are going to go over two variations of the Kirby today that you are more than likely going to see in the open just because they are always there. First one is going to be the bar facing Kirby, where you jump over the bar and you're constantly facing the bar as you do your next rep. And then we're just going to go over the basic Kirby uh, points of performance, making sure that we're going through all of the aspects of that Kirby so you can get a good rep. So, with the bar facing Kirby, a couple things need to happen. We need to make sure that our chest comes all the way down to the ground on each and every rep. We need to make sure that we're perpendicular to the bar, so we can't be turning sideways, we can't have our body outside the confines of the weights on the bar. We need to make sure that we're jumping over with two feet in order to get that RX rep. Um, stepping over would usually show up in the scales uh, somewhere, but if you are trying to go RX, you're going to need to hop over with two feet together, and that's not a quick jump with one foot and then the other. Alright, so first to demo, chest coming all the way down to the ground, and we'll just show this in a regular burpee before we start going over the bar so you can actually see Chris's chest touch the ground completely, and we'll show you what a no rep is going to look like um, on this when people usually start to get fatigued. So a no rep on the burpee is when our chest doesn't fully come down to the ground. Chris is going to show you a couple of those reps here. Good. And you can see how our arms are still pushed up a little bit on the ground. The chest is not fully coming down there. That's going to be a no rep. We need to make sure that that chest comes all the way down to the ground, or I like to say kiss the ground. And she'll show you a couple of good reps here with the chest coming all the way down. All right. You can see her chest coming all the way down. Arms are all the way retracted, and then she's pushing up into the final stages of that burpee. Now, getting into the bar facing burpees, um, we're going to turn this bar just a little bit. So in order to have a good rep here, you need to make sure that you stay within the confines of the bar itself. So that means your body has to be perpendicular to this bar, and you can't be going sideways having your legs shoot up this way or shoot up this way. Alright, so Chris is going to demo a couple of reps where usually people are going fast, they're going to get their body turned sideways, they're going to be not perpendicular to that bar, and it's not going to count as a rep in the open. Good. And you can see how our feet are outside the confines of those weights. That means she's not getting perpendicular to the bar, she's not in that zone that we're looking for, and those would not count as reps. Now she's going to show you a couple where she does stay perfectly perpendicular, and those will count as good reps. Perfect. Full body within the confines of the weights, that means that's going to be a good rep, and she maintains that each and every time she goes over the bar. Now the other one is going to be popping off of two feet. So, this comes up a lot, this comes up a lot when people are in a fatigue. It will show up as a scale or a modification in maybe other variations of the open workout. However, if you are going for RX, you're going to need to hop off two feet at the same time as you're going over the bar. So Kristen's going to demo a couple reps where she either steps over or kind of shuffle steps over where she's not actually leaving the ground off of two feet, and that's going to be a no rep. However you want to do it, it's not going to count as a rep. Now, leaving off the two feet together, picking the heels up, getting over the bar and into the next rep is going to be what we're looking for here. And Kristen's going to demo a couple good reps of that burpee where the feet leave together off the ground. Perfect. And you can see almost that bunny hop like jump over the bar. That is going to be a good rep. Now, the last thing, standing up the burpee all the way, a lot of the times when it's a regular burpee, you don't have to do this in the bar facing burpee, it's actually encouraged that you stay lower to be more efficient, but if we do have regular burpees, we want to make sure that we do leave the ground in some fashion and finish that burpee at the top. A lot of the times when we're going super fast, we're tired, we're not really thinking about it, we're going to cut that burpee short, we see it all the time. But in the open, you need to make sure that you finish that wet. Chris is going to show you a couple reps where that's not finished at the top, 
and she kind of stays a little bit low and then goes down to the next rep. And then we'll show you a couple good reps for the regular therapy. Good. You can see your chest and her eyes are still facing the ground. Not really leaving the ground. That's going to be a no rep. And now we'll show you a couple reps where that is a good rep on the therapy coming all the way up to the top. Good. And you can see how she's getting fully extended at the top, getting her hands up, feet are leaving the ground slightly. That is going to be a good range of motion and finishing that perfect.